The dive teams were searching about a mile down the creek, but just a few seconds ago, several of the boats coming back to the marina. So hopefully within the next half hour, we should have another update for you. Now, according to FWC's accident report, we know that Stephen Doctor was holding onto the T-top of the boat and he lost his balance and fell off the boat. He did not resurface. And that accident report says there was also four other people on board at the time. Now, family and friends have been here at the marina all day waiting for news, waiting for his body to be recovered. And there are a lot of challenges to recovering a body here at Black Creek. Black Creek is calm on the surface. Um, the St. John's River and the creeks that shoot off of the St. John's River are notorious for low visibility. So at point at times there could be less than one inch visibility. But there are challenges underwater. Dive teams of Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission, Clay County Sheriff's Office and Green Cove Springs Police Department have done this before. There are several hurdles that dive teams face out here. The murkiness, the current of Black Creek, as well as wildlife. And here we're measuring anywhere from 20 to 30 feet, depending on if you're on the side of the creek or towards the center. Black Creek Marina owner John Hamilton has become familiar with the routine of a search. He took us out on his boat to get an exclusive look. He's been boating here for decades and the marina owner for seven years. His marina is the command center. Hamilton knows these waters and the dangers boaters may face. The biggest thing for the creek is people getting too close to the shoreline and hitting trees that stick out. They're not as bad here, but there's places where they'll stick out like 20 feet across the water. And if you're not paying attention, it's really easy to end up, you know, getting up in the beach. The current will pull you that away. As you can see, it's pulling us down quite a bit. It runs about six knots in here, so it, it moves right along. You can see here FWC, one of their crews pulling up to the marina here now. So again, hopefully we'll know another update very shortly. FWC is the lead in this investigation, and I did speak with the Clay County Sheriff. She says this type of incident happens at least twice a year. In Clay County, Leah Shields, First Coast News on your side. Thank you, Leah. In the search.